I am so ready for spring and for spring nail art, which is probably my favorite, some of my favorite nail art, other than neons for summer. But if you love creamy and dreamy pastel nail art, then you're gonna love this tutorial. If you don't like that type of fanny, then just feel free to stick around and hate watch. Whether you're watching for fun or for the lols, here's everything you need to complete this tutorial. China glaze white on white in a lily bit, fairy dust, Twinkle T Square Cyclone Nail Vinyls, Pastel Sharpies, a brush, this one's from the Twinkle T Cotton Dandy Nail Art Set, 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Let's get started. So I already have my base coat on, so I'm applying one coat of China Glaze White on White. Um, I do end up applying a second coat, but I really didn't need it, especially when you're covering it up with so much other artwork, even if there's bare spots, it um, will just cover it up. but. I went ahead and did a second layer. And here I'm doing a little bit of cleanup. I like to do cleanup before I apply top coat. Uh, this brush is the number two brush from Twinkle T and it is my favorite of their brushes because it's smaller and I seem to get a better result with a smaller brush. I don't know how you people use those gigantic brushes. Like as you can see, I'm even struggling with this little part right here. Since I'll be using nail vinyls um, over this, I'm gonna apply some HK Girl Quick Top Coat and wait 20 to 25 minutes so that my nail vinyls don't rip up my base coat. Make sure you wait, otherwise you're gonna have some ripped up polish and tears. Here I'm applying China Glaze in a lily bit onto my other nails and I was disappointed in the formula of this. As you can see, it is super thin. I ended up having to do three coats to get opacity. Although on my other nails that I didn't film, it did come up show up better so it could have just been because I was filming this is the third coat it's a really pretty color not the greatest formula doing a little more cleanup with 100% acetone and now I'm gonna take a piece of wax paper to draw on with my sharpie colors this color ended up being a little difficult to work with because it was so light um, these are probably the lightest sharpies that I worked with on a sharpie mani um, for the other ones I use very vibrant colors and they come out better by using the wax paper, it allows you to dip your brush in the 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol and it kind of um, picks it up, it dissolves it, and that lets you transfer it to your nail. And here's my super complicated technical way of removing my Twinkle T Square Cyclone finals. I find with the certain designs you can do this and it, it'll just kind of bounce back and hold its shape. Other ones you kind of got to like work with to make sure that they're not going to get tangled. Now that I waited my 20 to 25 minutes so that my top coat was super dry and no tears were happening, I applied my Twinkle T vinyl. I used the uh, pointy tweezers to kind of position it better onto my nail. And then once it's positioned correctly, you can um, press it down firmly with your finger. And you want to make sure it's down nice and snug, but not like super snug. There's a fine medium for this. You want medium snugness. Again, I'm so technical. I think I'm going to speed this up a little bit for all of our sanity. Now that the vinyl is attached with medium snugness, you want to take your isopropyl alcohol, dip it onto your Sharpie on the wax paper, and pick it up and just kind of dab it onto your nail. And This is what I was talking about earlier, how the paint just kind of doesn't show up, so I had to like layer it a bunch of times. It is pretty though, so I don't know, I guess I don't regret picking this pink, it did come out nice. And here I switched to the blue, and I was a little pissed because this isopropyl alcohol was leaking through the wax paper, which I didn't even think was possible, and it's ruining my glitter paper. That glitter paper ain't cheap. So again, anyways, you just dab it on, calm down Angel. The more alcohol you have on your brush, the longer it takes to dry. So here, I kind of hit, my brush was wetter than it should have been, so that's why I kept like going back and forth and dabbing. But if you just get a little bit on, then you'll be picking up the right amount of pigment and you won't have to be layering this like a crazy person like me. Now that we have all of our Sharpie onto our nail, it is time for the big reveal. I mean, removing Cyclone Vinyls is like, probably the greatest part of nail art. I try to make sure I leave a good amount of tail or excess vinyl hanging off the nail so that I can grab it easy with my tweezers. And look at this, I was like pleasantly pleased when this came off. Look at that, it came out great. It came out so great, we're gonna do it again on my pinky nail. 
This was equally as satisfying. Yes. My in a lily bit nail was just a little too boring, so I added some fairy dust because it always makes everything better. Then I added some HK Girl top coat, and then I popped on a little bitty baby blue square jewel. I was going to put it at a 45 degree angle to match the vinyls, but then I was like, no, that looks stupid. We're going to go straight. And then I like to point it, point it, I like to poke it with the pointy end of my orange stick to get it in place. I always struggle with getting these on center. They always are off center. Top coat for my Sharpie nail. I am so in love with this nail. I think I'm going to propose. Anyway, this is the finished manicure and this is one of my faves that I've done in a while. Um, I've definitely been obsessed with Sharpie manis lately. If you follow me on Instagram, look at all these manis that I did. So thanks for watching another tutorial guys um, and if you could please subscribe, like, leave me a comment. You can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at twy underscore star. That's twy star. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat you'll get previews of these manis and other stupid things like cats, how much I hate work, the food I'm eating, you know all the super cool things that us loser people pose for no reason to Snapchat. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye.